Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I'm Nye, this is Mako, and we are in the room with the Chest of Dreams, which is actually both of them, I think. So oh. the chest reads, the desi uh, yeah, the treasure chest of dreams asks, what do I contain? And so you have a choice of answering bomb, elixir, high potion, mega potion, soft, chimera, potion, remedy, or evil eye. I we're going to take an elixir. Mm -hmm. And it has exactly what you tell it is. And here is a Albed Primer 20. D equals T. You cannot get that again. And here's answer a quiz the for password you. password in proper Albed. Sorry. Well, we can actually answer that. It's the only one that starts with an S. Yep. Wait. Which should be this one. Yep. yep. Pardon. We actually know this one. Mm-hmm. Answer all of them correctly and get a friend sphere. Which allows you to teleport to any... Friend, uh, any friend on the sphere grid. Really, really useful. Now, just coming up on our left, right here. there's a treasure chest there. Or I'll bed potions so that I don't need. Coming up on our left is a save point. Which is good. But on the right is some more fun stuff. Which we'll see in just a second after Tita trips this guy a new one. Whoop, crap. I need to really fix that in options, because I think there's a way to fix that. <laughs> I think there's a button you can press that will that will like make it so that the um that you permanently like at attack in the same way or move your arrows in the same way. He does a thousand damage to himself. Always good. Lots of confusion in this area. I'm really glad we have a save point right there. Yep, I would actually recommend stopping by just before you hit up mm -hmm. the. Uh... Ray levels up a little bit. There's a lot of AP in here. But I mean, we're going to be hitting up areas with a lot of AP anyways. So Go ahead and save. Because it's been all of five minutes the last saved. <laughs> but you want to be really careful in home. So yeah. now and to, directly to your right is another branch and lots of fighting. Yep. It'll be better now because Titus is going to go ahead and sword play spiral cut this dude. We got we got to be getting pretty close to the next overdrive, which I think is energy rain, which is the really good AOE one. Like he currently has the not very good AOE one because it's not very focused and doesn't do a lot of damage. Energy rain does, if I remember correctly, a lot of damage. There's a treasure chest back here, isn't there? To your yes. left. Okay, I see it. Are you sure I'm supposed to go to the right? Because that's a door. Wait, yes, yes I am. Because that's a door. <laughs> right. Hi, you need to die. I said you need to die. Listen to me, damn it. Thank you. Listen to me when I kill you. Pretty much. The lack of ability to heal right now is kind of irritating. So I'll just be healing between combat, you know? Hmm. I mean, we're going to get healed up as soon as we go back to that save point anyway, so it's not exactly a big deal. But, um... Uh, Riku just got an item that allows her to silence enemies. Called Tongue Holder. More Chest of Dreams? No, not that way. Yep, because Riku's telling me not to go this way, so that's how I know it's got something... Hello! Oh, this isn't Say nice. I think Titus is already saying his prayers. So these guys are not exactly the most pleasant bunch to fight. Nope, they're nasty little balls of damage and hit points. Yep. This is gonna hurt. Didn't hurt too much, thankfully. That thing did decide to Megiddo Flame. If he had done that, we would have lost Titus. How, how is that thing still alive? Oh, here's the Megiddo Flame. Bye, Titus. Well, you're assuming it's going to hit Titus. Oh, I thought that was the one that hit everybody. Nope, it's a one single target spell for some reason. Hmm. That one killed Titus. That's okay. These two will own this guy. 
don't know why these things have such high uh, hit points. It's just, it's abnormally high for this point in the game. And there he goes, with a crit hit, a 3,000 damage crit hit. That was kind of impressive. They do kind of do their jobs beautifully in that regard. Mm -hmm. This is just an Albed compilation sphere. Compilation sphere? Just in case you didn't already have your Albed up at this point in the game, because this is when you really want to add it. But there's two two quiz chests here. Yep. The first, the first one. digit is 4 plus 1, which means 5. The second digit is 7 minus 1, which is 6. The third digit is 3 times 1, which is 3. And the fourth digit is 2 plus 1, which is also 3. For our troubles, special we sphere. get special spheres, which let you activate any special ability someone else has. Albed verification. Are you Albed? Yes. Name the son of the Albed leader. That would be <laughs> Rin Travel Agency. On what island does the Albed live? That Beacon would be Beacon Island. island. I love that Awaka is actually part of the answer to that one. What is Albed in Albed? Albed. Al <laughs> I love that one. Skill sphere. Skill sphere. Lashu. Same thing as the special sphere. And there is a primer just to the just outside the door to your to to the, to oh, the there north. It is. Okay. Yep. Whoop. Okay. Apparently we're going back in. <laughs> Almost missed that one. It kind of blends in. Hmm. Number twenty-one. I equals you. And those are the two most missable, uh, uh, two, well, those are the third, third, two, second and third of the three primers in home. You know what's good for you, you'll have gotten them all. And fortunately, that means there's only five primers left in the game. Mm-hmm. And there's only one more that's potentially missable. Fortunately, we won't see that for a couple episodes. At least. Mm. And, I mean, that primer, you're going to feel like a moron if you miss it. So. Stop hurting Titus. Okay, so apparently, uh, Riku's speed is starting to get up there. So what's probably going to happen is as soon as Titus gets quick hit, that's when I'm going to send Riku onto his track. She'll pick up quick hit from him, and then she'll go backwards up his track. That's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. Because we want Riku to get quick hit, and then I'll probably have Waka just get a skill sphere and take quick hit from we from uh, Tias. You've already got one. You're just waiting for that opportunity. Yep. Because honestly, there's not for stuff like. There's not too much use for special spheres, to be honest with you. Or skill spheres or shrimp print spheres. It just allows, gives you earlier access to a couple things you might want, yep. just in case. Frame rate on the game seems to be going down a little bit in this area. Yeah, it, it starts to slow down massively in this area for some reason. Kind of curious why. This might be, well, the, the music uh, dies out, so this might be this on purpose. Done for. You're right. You're right, Waka. And Riku's very upset about this since this is her home. And this is where Waka starts becoming slightly less of a dick. Where we all yep. used to live. After that, we were scattered to every slightly less. But then my dad brought the Albed together again. If we put our minds Oh, we can't have him getting better all in one go. No, no, no. He has to grow and learn and that's acceptable. We had our home back again. So, you know, we killed uh, Seymour, so we killed home. Technically, this is our fault. Mm, I don't buy that one, no. They're thinking they're going to attack you with a Minotaur that's just sitting right there. Notice how Waka and Riku aren't paying any attention to the fight at hand. You'd think the Guado would have learned better by now. Look at what we did to all your friends. Well, they don't seem to care. Must stop the summoners. Well, more like the guardians. They really care more about us right now than they care about the summoners. 
Because we know the summoner's not with us. Nope. Okay, why are you not dead yet? Well, I've attacked you guys like eight times. You should be dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dez Dornail dead. Make it happen. Stop dealing damage to me and just die. Thank you. Unfortunately, I think Quick Hit is quite a ways down uh, TS's track still. We haven't gotten Haystega yet. Not yet, unfortunately. We're getting really close, though. So I'm going to have it for the next really big boss fight. I'll let Riku do her job again. And as you just saw, I mean, not as if we were considering it anyways, but if you, as you just saw, you cannot escape from these battles. Yeah, there are all, all, a lot of the stuff in home is mandatory, so... Yep. And scripted. But, you know, most of the Chinese you get out of it is worth it, so... If you're paying attention. But that's one of the reasons why you want to know Albed, is for all that stuff. Because honestly, it's really hard to figure that stuff out if you don't know Albed. Doable, if you're good at, uh, if you're good at ciphers. Because it's only a single substitution cipher. Or if you go online and just use one of the online ciphers that exactly converts it for you. Would you look at that? We were just talking about you. I love you, Haystega. I love you so much. Well, this game ceased having any sort of challenge whatsoever. For a while. Well, it makes up for the fact that we still don't have Yuna, so... Mm -hmm. it's having... S Tidus plus Haste plus High Potion is going to make life, like so much more bearable. Yep. And there's a reason why I'm not lo using Lulu. Basically, she's fallen off at this point. It's kind of sad. She's going to pick back up again later on, but right now, Lulu is just she's so damn slow at actually getting stuff done. So Oren tends to suffer the same problem. But Oren has the damage to back it up. Hmm. The summoner's sanctum. But now we get plot. Yep. So now we're going to learn exactly why the Albed have been stealing all the summoners. And it turns out they've got a pretty good reason. Yep, so we're going to learn exactly what that reason is. Even Waka understands what's going on. Yep, explain it for Titus. They don't just get hurt. If the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? So Titus has been brought into the whole, you know, who's going to beat Sin thing. If Guardians do their job well, Summoners will be safe. And that's where you're wrong. Right? Right? Nope, nobody's going to back you up on this one, Titus. Uncomfortable silence. Because no one cared to tell Titus the truth. And now Kamari will do his job. It's quiet. Kamari goes now. His job being to go find, uh, you know. His job being the distraction. <laughs> yep. Nope, because two Xanarkin starts playing in the background as everybody runs away in slow motion. This slow motion is uh, on purpose, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, but nobody backs up Titus on his comments, so... It can be therefore understood that he's wrong. And Titus's very expressive eyebrows tell the story. Yuna, please be here. There's also a treasure chest that we need to pick up right there. Two of them, actually. Yep. One under the staircase, too. Yeah. This one's got a level two key sphere. Which is good. I'm gonna and the one under the those. staircase is much nicer. Uh, to your left. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Family, a level four key sphere. I need Our at very least first. one of them. So quick hit's a guaranteed thing once I get there. Because we mm -hmm. I believe, behind a level 4 gate. And in the Summoner Sanctum... We find Summoners. Surprisingly enough. And they're not Strange dead yet, works. either. I'm sorry, but your princess is in another castle. But the Summoners are here. She's not here. Oh, Dona, I'm so happy to see you. Barthello will be happy. Wait there until we have performed the sending. So they're going to perform mass sendings. Protecting us. 
It's not much, but the least yeah. we can do. So the Albed have been protecting the summoners this entire time, and dozens of them gave their lives for it. It's clear that the Guado have no intention of taking the summoners back at this point. It's just kill them all and let safely. safely. And Pache is about to tell us what's going on. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Uh oh, it's backstory. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? There's a reason. The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. And here it comes. Don't we just have to stop? Riku. If they don't, and they get to Zanarkin, they might defeat Sin. Uni could. Come on, spit it out, girl. She... The viewers need to know what's up. Because me and Mako have been hinting at it the entire they game. Die, you know? <laughs> you know, don't you? No, he doesn't. Mm-hmm. Yuna told you, didn't she? Nope. With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then... But then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Yep. There's a cow cost for summoning that final Aeon. You know? Powerful enough to defeat Sin, but actually comes the price. I mean, why do you think that none of these summoners that caused the calm ever seem to be around? Ever come back ever are here to revel in celebrations. Mm -hmm. Everybody hints at it through the entire game. Well, I mean, even from the beginning, we know that uh, Lord Braska summoned in the calm just ten years ago. So where was he? Nobody ever talks about it. Everybody shuts up whenever Titus brings up the celebrations afterwards. There's a lot of hints about it, actually. But they never outright came to say it. So you can see exactly how uncomfortable that T that everybody felt around Tias whenever he was saying. Tias is a very unhappy dude. How could you? How could you? And part of the problem is that Tias likes her, so he's gonna have a hard time performing his job from now on. And now he's gonna go blame everybody for this. Don't you think we tried to stop her? She follows. And we learned from everybody that everybody has tried to stop this. Everybody. Like, everybody, the entire world knows what happens to summoners. Or at least everybody who, who, who has meaningful plot, nation, plot, blah, 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 plot powers have tried it, but... Yeah. And what makes it more disturbing is nobody's, nobody has ever tried to not do it. Well, that's not true. Uh-oh, it's a Wendigo. Fortunately, not one we actually have to fight. That is our choice. And now here come the summoners to give their comments. Sin, you know that. A world without sin. That is the dream of all Yevans And, children. I mean, they're, they're being extremely selfless. We will use that power even if it means our lives. So here we see other summoners summoning. Like, actually, actively. As opposed to, like, um, what's her name? So, I mean, it's a thing. And Titus is just full of grief. And off he sprints. Because that's going to help. Run away, Titus. No, he's beating up Veilfor like for some reason. Let's go to Zanarkin together. Well, Veilfor represents the, 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 represents the problem to him. Yep. And now he realizes just how much of a problem he has been by commenting on all this stuff. And also realizes how awesome Yuna was saying that, or not like Smile. telling him what was up. And Vilfor actually responds to this too. Which is, I always thought was a very interesting touch. Well, the Aeons do have a. a the Aeons are the, what, are the, what, the instruments of the faith? Mm hmm. They, and... they do have a bit of a consciousness here. There are so many there. Th they do things. There are so many things I can say and nothing that I'm allowed to yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> and now we get a little bit of a flashback. Lots of flashbacks. Mm-hmm. Where Tia remembers just how much of a dick he has been without knowing it. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. 
basically just flashbacks showing exactly how strong Yuna has been the entire time. And no one's really known it. Well, I mean, everybody else knew it. Tia's didn't know it. But because he's the one telling the story, he wouldn't let us know it either. It's embarrassing. Yeah, because we remind you that you know we're this we're still coming in right at the. Uh, are kind of like spirits, right? We're we're still listening to somebody else telling a story. Mm -hmm. Titus is the example of the uh, what is it the um, the imperfect narrator, but he's also he knows the end of the story or he knows at least as far as he as he has gotten, and as he tells the story, he won't let us know something he didn't know at the time. He doesn't ever preface it. So it wasn't until this point that he knew about it, so now he's going back and showing us what, where we should have known. Which makes sense. Oh god, and the horrible laughing scene. One of the viewers said that this, actually, this scene cracked him up. Oh? Like, he was listening to this bad laughing, and apparently that actually made him start laughing. Well, that's part of the point, I guess. Yep. I want my journey to be full of laughter. So even Yuna's saying that she doesn't want her guardians to be upset that she's gonna die at the end. Yuna's kind of a badass. Definitely kind of a badass. Well, the music stopped, so I think that means that the flashbacks are gonna stop. I can't let her die. You can hear a little certain amount of resolve in his voice. Mm -hmm. He's Titus has decided there that there will be none of this. There will be no more sacrifices on Titus's watch. There was a treasure chest over here. There is a treasure chest over there, which has some poor Albed's life savings in it. Mm -hmm. Or his health insurance or life insurance. You know, either one. Either way, he's not going to be needing it anymore. So. Yep. Okay, guys, we're going to leave you alone because a lot of things are about to happen, but we need a lot of time to get them done, and we don't have time for that in here. As such, well, the plot twists have... I would love to say they've stopped, but they've only just begun. So we need more time for more of them. So we'll see you guys next time as the twisting begins. Yay. And yes, we will twist again like we did last summer. Ta-ta.